Welcome to Learn With Me, Mrs. Sullivan. Let's learn how to flip, rotate, resize, and crop images. First, let's flip. Step one is to select the object you want to flip. When you select an object, you get um, a rectangle around it that's blue and it has little squares in the corners and on the sides. So you're looking for that blue rectangle. Blue tells a computer what to do. So always look for the clue of the blue. But beware, if you accidentally double click, it will not just be blue, it will look like this. And we're gonna talk about what that means in a little bit. But first, let's flip. So step one, select what I wanna flip by single clicking. And I see the blue around the outside edges. I'm gonna move my cursor till I get this. I made it bigger because so, it's hard to see here. So now my, um, my mouse is changed into this arrow. I'm going to press down on my mouse and I'm not gonna let go until I'm done with my flip. I press down and then I move this over just like I was moving the pages of a book. You may have seen that red diagonal line when I press down the mouse. I'm looking for the same red diagonal line on the other side. That means it's the right size. Now I can let go. I always flip my image from the outside of where I wanna flip it to. So think about the outside pages of the book. You don't flip it from the center of the book. That would be impossible, you'd rip the page. So I'm gonna press down on my mouse. I do not let go as I drag it to the opposite side, keeping my eyes peeled for the red diagonal, and then I let go of my mouse. And that's how you flip an image. Let's learn how to rotate an image. Rotate means to spin around in a circle. Step one is the same, single click to select. Beware not to double click. So let's rotate. I'm going to single click, and now I have the blue saying this is what I wanna do. I wanna work with this. Now at the top, there's this little circle. And I like to think of it like a handle. And when I put my cursor on top of it, it's gonna look like this. So that means I have grabbed onto that handle. Now I press down on my mouse and I don't let go as I rotate the image. And I let go when I'm done because I've now rotated the image. Let's see that again. I come to the handle, I press down on my mouse, I rotate, and when it's where I want it, I let go of my mouse and my image has rotated or spun around in a circle. And that's how you rotate an image. Let's resize, let's change the size of an image. Step one's the same, select the image and don't double click. So let's resize. There, I've selected my image. Now it's very important that I resize from the corner. So I'm looking for my arrow to be a diagonal. So I've come down to this corner. I've got that diagonal arrow. I press down on my cursor. I don't let go until I'm done. And then I let go and it's resized, it's bigger. Here, I've, I'm coming up to the other corner. The diagonal goes the opposite way. I'm gonna drag it and I don't let go until I've resized. Now, even though the arrow is pointing out right now, I can resize by pressing down and letting go and I can make my image smaller. So even though the arrow points out, I can still make my image smaller. So I resize always from the corners. Why? Well, if I don't and I went from the middle, I get something like that. That's not what we want because it's all distorted or strange looking. So always resize from the corners, pressing down. And when you're done, click outside as always. So now let's learn how to crop. That means cut some parts off. Guess what? Step one is yes, double click. We're going to learn about that um, right now. So here we go. I'm going to select and not just click once, but I'm going to double click click, click. And now I have that strange dark shape around the outside. That means 
I'm going to crop. This is the crop tool. I'm going to put my cursor here and I'm getting a little arrow and I'm going to press down on my mouse and I'm not going to let go until I have the arrow where I want to cut off the other part outside. When I let go, I can see that this is still bright and shiny, but down here it's faded. It doesn't look the same. Now I'm not done with my crop until I press return. So press return and click outside and now you see how the image looks cropped. I've cut off part of the image. Now I want to go back and show you a common mistake. A common mistake for this is that when you're trying to crop you accidentally move it somewhere else that you didn't mean to and when you press return you're going to get an image like this where you've really cropped off the parts you did not want to crop off. And that especially happens if you forget to click outside when you're done cropping. So remember, after you've cropped, you're not done yet. So if I started moving this around, I would get a weird crop. I'm not done yet. I want to go to my position where I want to crop it and then press return. Now it's still selected, so I want to click outside. Always click outside at the end. So. That is how you flip, rotate, resize, and crop images. Thanks for watching Learn With Me, Mrs. Sullivan. Please like, and I'd love it if you'd subscribe.